Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for saving me and giving me the opportunity to share this gospel. Allow me to share it with a humble attitude. Please fill me with the Holy Spirit and also let me relay this gospel not by knowledge but by the, the grace of the cross. If there is any unbelievers, I pray that they will accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. If there is any sick people, I pray that they will be healed. If there is any people with the problems, I pray that their problems will be solved when they hear this gospel message. If there is any believers, I pray that they will realize their mission to spread this gospel to the whole world and become evangelists. I pray in the name of Jesus who is the Christ. Amen. In this world, there is a creator God who created the entire universe, all things in heaven and earth and men. God gave three blessings to the original man. The first blessing is that God created man in his own image as a spiritual being. The biggest difference between man and animal is that only man has a spirit. The second blessing is that God gave man the authority to subdue and rule over the earth. God gave only man the authority to subdue and rule over the earth. The third blessing is that God allowed man to enjoy all the things that he had made. This is the principle of God's creation. When God created birds, he gave them wings. Birds with wings are the happiest when they are flying up in the sky. When God created trees, he gave them roots. Trees with roots are the happiest when they are deeply rooted in the ground. When God created fish, he gave them fins. Fish with fins are the happiest when they are swimming in the water. With this principle, when God created man, God gave only man a spirit. Then, when he is this man with a spirit most happy, it's when he is with God. Birds have not left the sky, trees have not left the ground, fish have not left the water, but only man separated from God. As a result, man lives with six kinds of problems and eventually falls into destruction. Then why, why is that only man separated from God? It's because he committed sin. Why did man commit sin against God? It's because Satan the devil tempted man. Because man was saved by Satan, he committed sin. By committing sin, he was separated from God. As a result of man's separation from God, these six problems started. Then, what kind of problems are there when man is separated from God? First, there are the spiritual problems. Since man was separated from God, they worship idols, search for fortune tellers, do psychic reading and practice religion. Who are our true parents? Those who gave birth to our Physical body are our true parents. Who is our true God? The one who created your spirit is our true God. God created your spirit, that's why God is our true God. Second, there are mental problems. People suffer from anxiety, stress, insomnia, nightmare, Night terror and depression. If they feel empty, won't 
commit suicide here all your hallucinations and some families have mentally ill patients third there are the physical problems they fall into poverty accident incurable disease and fail into their businesses they are also faced with gambling unemployment cigarette addiction alcohol addiction drug addiction game addiction and smartphone addiction then where did all these physical problems begin they began right after we were separated from god Four, there are family problems. Married couple argue, fight, separate, have affairs, and get divorced. Then, who suffers the most when the parents get divorced? There are the children. They suffer financially and have no peace in their heart. Fifth, there are afterlife problems. Through the Bible, we can see that everyone has three stages of life. The first stage of life is the nine months in our mother's womb. The second stage of life is the 70 to 80 years that we are living now. The third stage of life is the eternal world after we die. In our second stage of life, if we meet God who created our spirit, we will go to heaven. But if we meet the first, first God or worship idols, we have no choice but to go to hell. See, there are problems of inheritance. If you worship idols, it's not only you, but it's also you are third and fourth generation that will be cursed. All these six problems started after that we were separated from God, we committed sin, and after that we were deceived by Satan. So, if we cannot solve these three fundamental problems, we cannot solve our individual problems and family curses. But, do people know that all these curses and disasters come from these three fundamental problems in Genesis chapter 3? Do they know or not? No, they don't. That's why people trying to solve these six problems through science, religion, philosophy, or good works. However, these problems won't be solved but will grow worse. It's because all these six problems started after we were separated from God, we committed sin, and after we were deceived by Satan. So, can you meet God on your own? No. No. Can you wash away all the sins you have committed on your own? No. Can you win over Satan, the devil, on your own? No. But, however, there are the most joyful news in the world. So, God knew that we cannot solve all these three fundamental problems. God gave us a way to solve these three fundamental problems. That way is Christ. Christ is the only way to solve these three fundamental problems. Christ is the solution to all problems. Christ is the title and it represents three titles. 
the title of true king, the true priest, and the true prophet. Christ, with these three titles, bread, died on the cross, and resurrected from the dead after three days. Christ, as the true king, bread, died on the cross, and resurrected from the dead. Through this, he crushed the head of Satan and gave us freedom. Christ, as the true priest, bread, died on the cross, and resurrected from the dead. Through this, he washed all our original sin and solved all the sins of our past, present, and the future, and he set us free from all the sins and curses. Also, Christ, as the true prophet, bread, died on the cross, and resurrected from the dead. Through this, he solved the, sep the problem of our separation from God and opened the way to meet God. You cannot meet God on your own. But if you believe in Christ, you can meet God. Christ is the only way to meet God. In other words, through the day and the resurrection of Christ as the true king, true priest, and the true prophet, Christ solved all these six problems that came from these three fundamental problems in Genesis chapter 3, cleanly, completely, and eternally. Then, who is this almighty Christ? Jesus, who came to this earth through the Virgin Mary 2,000 years ago, is the Christ. Please repeat after me. Jesus is the Christ. Jesus is the Christ. If you believe that Jesus is the Christ, you will receive salvation. John 3.16 says, for God so loved the world that He gave His only Son so that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. Whoever believes that Jesus is the Christ shall not perish but will receive seven blessings of eternal life. Then, what are these seven blessings? First, you become a child of God who created the entire universe. Second, God, the Holy Spirit, enters into your heart and guides you until you go to heaven. Third, if you pray in the name of Jesus Christ, surely you will receive answers. Four, he will send his angels to protect you 24-7. Fifth, if you pray in the name of Jesus Christ, Satan will be bound. Sixth, your name will be recorded in the heaven's book of life and you will become a citizen of heaven. Seventh, he will give you the blessing of sharing this gospel to the whole world. God sincerely wants you to receive these seven blessings. That's why he sent his one and only son, Jesus, for you. So, do you want to remain in these six problems of destruction, or you want to receive seven blessings of eternal life? Seven blessings of eternal life. Revelation 3.20 says, 
Here I am, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with that person and he with me. Romans 10, 10 says, For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, and it is with your mouth that you confess your faith and are saved. If you want to believe, Please repeat after me. First, believe in your heart and repeat after me as I pray. God, I believe that you are the only true God. God, I believe that you are only true God. I repent that I have lived my life away from God in the way I wanted to. I repent that I lead my life that uh, from God. So please forgive me. So please forgive me. I believe that Christ died, bled, and died on the cross. I believe that Christ uh, bled and died on the cross. Through his resurrection. Through his resurrection. He crushed the head of Satan. He crushed the head of Satan. Forgave all my sins. Forgave all my sins. And opened the way to me, God. And opened the way to me, God. I believe that only Jesus of Nazareth is the Christ. I believe that only Jesus of Nazareth is the Christ. I open the door of my heart. I open the door of my heart. And accept Jesus who is the Christ as the Lord of my heart. I accept that Jesus is the Lord of my heart. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. Rule over me and guide me. Rule of me and guide me. I accept Jesus as my Savior. I accept Jesus as my Savior. Also, let me preach this gospel to the unbelievers. Also, let me preach this gospel to unbelievers. I pray in the name of Jesus, who is the Christ. I pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Christ, amen. Now, as you live this life, Never forget these seven things. First, you have already become a child of God. Second, Jesus has entered into your heart. Third, your name is recorded in the heaven's book of life and you have become a citizen of heaven. Fourth, starting today, study and work hard to share this gospel to the whole world. God will undoubtedly bless you. Let's review your new spiritual state. Whose child are you? Child of God. Where is Jesus? In my heart. Where will your spirit go after you leave this world? Heaven. Why do you study? To preach this gospel. Why do you work? To preach this gospel. Three. God said, from Monday to Saturday, study and work hard, but on Sunday, go to church and worship. Six. Study the Bible once a week. Do you want to study the Bible? Yes. From Monday through Saturday, which day works the best for you? Friday. What time works the best for you? 7 o'clock. Can I visit you with somebody on Friday at 7 o'clock to share this gospel? Yes. 7. Listen to this gospel message seven times and pick at least five people in each and every year to share this gospel with. This is because there are so many people without the gospel fail, have their families fall apart and commit suicide. Now as you are 
a child of God, I hope that you live a victorious life as you continuously pray and read the Bible. God loves you. 